guys. Hi. It's me. So I am going to actually, you know what? Let me turn this on. It's like, kind of like a vlog. Where am I? Can you see me? Oh, there you go. Hi. I'm going to show you. Okay, wait. Pause. On my Instagram, when was it? Oh, you see my babies. My son's playpen. That's where he sleeps at night with me still because he wakes up like crazy. Anyway, so um, last week, I believe, on Instagram, I posted a picture of me reorganizing all my makeup palettes. Um, and then I mentioned that I had a new idea for makeup storage. So I'm not reinventing the wheel. So this is not going to be like a, oh my god, I never would have thought of that video. But... I did find a deal at my Walmart. Wow, my hair is crazy. I did find a deal at my local Walmart um, where a, uh, a like a drawer, like a those um, portable drawers were on sale. It cost me 18 bucks. I don't know if it was supposed to be 18 bucks, but the area in which I found the item underneath it, the price tag said 18 dollars. The dude mentioned they were supposed to be $24, but check it out, find out where it is at your Walmart. If it says $18, tell me you want it for $18 because it said $18. So I'm going to show you where I keep my makeup palettes now, and I'm honestly really excited because it has freed up a lot of space in my red drawers, my red storage drawers, for my other makeup. Um, as you know, I'm not a fan of the Alex drawers. I don't want towers and towers of drawers in my room because it's just, I'm not about that life. I don't want that. I want a small area for my makeup and I want to keep it small. I know my makeup um, collection is growing and I do want to grow with it, but I don't want to get out of hand. So I'm going to show you what I've got and um, yeah, I'll show you. Really quickly though, I want to show you what I mean. So this is my room. That's my room. That's a dog's bed over there. This is my room. Let's see. That's my room. It's a little messy. Those are all my bags. I know, it's crazy. Um, and this is my makeup area. I don't want this area to get bigger and bigger. In other words, I don't want this huge tower here of the Alex. I don't want that. So right now, this was my first makeup storage um, area and as you can see I have them um, labeled as to what it is so that's my foundation drawer then I have a drawer for mascara concealer and face powder face primer I'm sorry and then I have blush this is blank because I just made this drawer this is um, all my highlighters and so my highlighters are on this side and my bronzers are on this side so as I said, I don't want to get out of hand because I can get out of hand. So I definitely want to use up what I've got before I get out of control. These are all my lip glosses, which is out of control, especially since I am not a lip gloss wearer. And then this is all my, um, these are all my eyeliners, like my pencil eyeliners. And then this is... These are all my liquid liners, so all the different colors that I have. All the colored liquid liners here, and then all my potted liners here, and then um, the longer pencils that I have from Wet n Wild, which are very, very long and don't fit over here. So I put it on the side. Alright, so now for the new makeup storage, which fits snugly underneath my DIY mirrored vanity. This is the baby that cost $18. It comes in different um, colors. I know they have a chevron um, where the black is. They have like a pink chevron. They didn't have any red, which would have been perfect. Um, so I settled for the black, which is fine. Um, and I like it because it's not like the craft um, drawers that are clear and just, in my opinion, a little, you know, cheesy looking. So I didn't purchase that. So I will show you. All of my makeup palettes fit in here. All of them. And honestly, it's great because I also I can also take this entire drawer out. I'm not going to do that because I'm going to drop it, but the whole drawer comes out. And I can view all of my makeup palettes here. I, I won't forget that I have something because 
I can really go through them and find everything. See. Um, and it's deep, deep down in there. As you can see, that's how far it goes down. So all my makeup palettes fit. And then I have a drawer for more of my single um, shadows and quads and all that, which is great because, you know, I like I said, I freed up two additional drawers in my red storage. So these are all my potted ones from Color Tattoo. Um, all my cream shadows I try to keep together. And then these are my Lorac shadows, single shadows. Um, and in the last drawer, I have my pigments. So these are some of my pigments, which is empty. This is, is the more fuller area of my pigments. You can see I have my Maybelline, my L'Oreal, and then all my MAC. And then I have my um, shadow sticks, I guess you can call them. This is from Scandalize. This is, this is also from Scandalize. I love these. Um, yeah, and then my glitter, and then my lashes, which I don't have a lot of. I actually just use these for my clients because I don't wear lashes. And then I was able to put all of my um, all of my press-on nails and uh, nail stickers down here as well. I found these at um, my Walmart, and look how pretty they are! Like, how beautiful is that? They're gel-ready press-on nails, and what I have on my nails right now are press-on nails. I'm a fan. I gotta tell you, I'm a fan, and they look good. They look like my nails. Like, even if you're starting out, these drawers are so deep and so large, it's perfect. You can get two of them, set them side by side. The top even, let me pull it out. Oh, there are my tweezers. <laughs> so the top is very sturdy. You can even use this as like, um, you can put like your acrylic um, storage is here for your um, for your lipsticks. You can, you know, put like I said, two next to each other, and then put a mirror on top and use it as your vanity. I mean, they're just so versatile and very cheap. You can find it at your Walmart, and um, that's it. Giveaway is coming soon. These are all the items I have so far for the giveaway. It's going to be huge. There are going to be two winners. Just a little sneak peek, some, some jewelry from my boutique, some nail polish, some makeup in there. But I'm waiting for a little more makeup. There's going to be a clothing and accessories winner, and then there's going to be a beauty winner. So stay tuned for that. And that is the end of my video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, you know what to do. Thumbs up, comment, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you in my next one. Bye, guys.